Uh, some of the points that I've uh, noticed um, yesterday is can directors actually file for Centrelink? Um, but if you go through the steps, um, they've um, that uh, it's it's. I think we're all learning this together, the process. Um, but if you look at the mod P, uh, mod mod F form, uh, which is for sole traders, it then prompts you to go and asks you uh, if you are a director of a company, and then it pushes you towards the mod PC. Now they're both Centrelink forms, um, so. I think the most important thing here is uh, just looking at the MyGov website. Just your uh, uh, register intention to claim, yeah, will actually lock you. Um, what do they say here? Because um, at the moment everyone's r rushing out and, and bottlenecking, so it's good that they've actually implemented this. So uh, register your intention to claim uh, at a, uh, for a Centrelink payment. Okay, so when you register your uh, intention to claim, they'll back pay you from the date that you, you sh shared those details. So B, it's, it's really important to lock that in. Paperwork can follow, you know, jump the hoops. You know, uh, I think some of the misconceptions at the moment is you've got to have to now submit all your data, just register, lock it in there, get that date locked in, and I think that you should be pretty well much okay and then you can go through the forms and the, the hundred and other one things you'll have to provide whether it's mod f uh, mod pc forms and 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 the um name of your you know bloody firstborn child and so on and so forth um but uh they're trying their best as well look um <laughs> someone was brought it to my attention um uh, a good friend of mine he goes, uh, Jamie, you're looking a bit tired, buddy. Maybe just take a bit of time for, to, for yourself. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I'm going to go get some exercise, clean myself up a bit, looking a bit haggard. Um, but remember, we are resilient. We can be quite resilient and quite strong. And sometimes we do neglect ourselves and see ourselves a little bit stronger than what we think we are. Um, so take a bit of time. I'm going to go smell the roses today. Uh, I'm going to get some exercise. I'm going to get my little zen on. I'm feeling a bit tubby after just sitting around uh, the last couple of days. Uh, well, not sitting around, being proactive, but just set my mind at ease with um, what's actually happening in this present point in time and the environments that we're, uh, that we're at. So I'm going to get some exercise. I'm going to spend a bit of time on me um today um so i'm probably not going to do too much and be too proactive I'll make a couple of phone calls to the bank maybe um my uh, uh center link or my gov whatever you want to call it now new start that changes daily has been re um processed for reassessment so that's underway uh guys just keep keep trying don't forget to spend that time on yourselves uh we do forget that we don't want to be having mental breakdowns and um, um, and doing doing something silly. Um, we you know I don't want we don't want people to be um, really going down that dark hole. Um, and um, there's help out there. Go to the website. There's this resource you can re refer to. Um, so um, I'm going to say goodbye for the day um, and um, good luck with with uh, all the offices and the hoops and the forms and the procedures um just just keep going the best way you can okay ciao for now